This is Tank's Vlog for January 31st, 2018, wrapping up the day in sports. It was a day of many happy returns for the New Jersey Devils, as the NHL season resumed after the All-Star break, and Taylor Hall came back, scored a goal, and helped the Devils end a four-game losing streak by beating the Buffalo Sabres 3-1. to If the Devils are to make the playoffs, they're definitely going to need Hall healthy and strong the rest of the way. Uh, Devils also got a goal from Kyle Palmieri. So, uh, that put the game away. It was an empty netter. So, a good start to the stretch drive, the second half for the Devils, who now 58 points. Meanwhile, the Bruins had their winning streak or their point streak ended. As for the first time in 19 games, they got a regulation loss. It was former Devil Adam Henrique providing the offense as the Ducks went into Boston and got a 3-1 to win. The Florida Panthers beat the Brooklyn's 4-1 to in Brooklyn. Beat the, beat the Islanders 4-1 to in Brooklyn. Islanders who have earlier in the day announced they're going to be splitting their season next year between the Barclays Center, and the Nassau Coliseum. Don't be surprised if in, at the end of the day, there's going to be more games at the Coliseum before their new arena by the Belmont opens. The Penguins got a hat trick from Evgeny Malkin as they beat the San Jose Sharks 5-2. to two. It was the Carolina Hurricanes... With a 2-1 win over the Ottawa Senators, the Wild beat the Blue Jackets 3-2 in a shootout. It was the Blues' 3-1 winners over the Canadiens. The Blackhawks, who have to get things going quickly, and they need to want to turn things around, got a 2-1 win in Nashville. The Jets flew past the Lightning 3-1. It was the Kings blanking the Stars 3-0. The Canucks in overtime 4-3 over the Avalanche. And the Vegas Golden Knights with three goals in the third period, rallying to beat the Calgary Flames 4-2. And they have now equaled the all-time win totals for an NHL expansion team at 33-12-4. Yes, 33-12-4 expansion team. They only have... 33 games more to break the record that they tied today. An absolute, just stunning story. NBA, meanwhile, James Harden. Did he have the game of his life or did he have the game of his life? Rockets beat the Magics 114 to 107. And it was Harden becoming the first player in NBA history to score 60 points and have a triple-double in the same night. The 60 points is also a new Rockets franchise record. I mean, there's no doubt about who the star tonight is going to be. It's going to be James Harden. I'd say James Harden's definitely, right now, if you think about it, might be the favorite for the NBA MVP. Meanwhile, in the Battle of the Burrows, it was the Knicks dominating the Nets again. If the Knicks could play the Nets every night, they'd probably win 70 games at this point. I did the Nets have been, the Nets have been decently competitive, but my goodness, have the Knicks just absolutely just kicked their ass across across the uh, Burrows and down to Long Island. New York and up to Westchester. Yeesh! The big star tonight for the Knicks was Ennis Contour, who had 20 points, 20 rebounds, 5 assists. The Wizards, who earlier in the day got devastating news that John Wall's going to miss two months with knee surgery, went out and played a solid game with Otto Porter leading the way to stun the 
the Oklahoma City Thunder 102 to 96. It was the Raptors 109 104 winners over the Timberwolves. The Kings beat the Pelicans 114 103. Pelicans definitely missing DeMarcus Cousins. The Spurs edged the Nuggets 106 to 104. The Golden State Warriors with a rare off night didn't have the right notes in Utah as the Jazz swung past them, playing a sweet tune 129 to 99. Meanwhile, the Clippers, devastated by the trade of Blake Griffin, lost at home to the Portland Trail Blazers 104 96 at the Staples Center where the Lakers hang their championship banners. The Clippers would always put up posters of their top stars. Today they just hung black banners. It is clear that the Clippers are now sitting Shiva as their franchise has sunk to the bottom again. Today's three stars are, of course, James Harden, who had 60 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists. But almost as impressive was Andre Drummond for the Pistons, who was named as Wall's replacement on the All-Star team, put up 21 points, 22 rebounds, 7 assists, and 5 blocks in a win over the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers also got some bad news. Or maybe it's good news if you ask most of teammates that Kevin Love will be out six to eight weeks with a broken hand. And Darcy Kemper of the Kings, who had 28 saves and a shutout win over the Stars. Today's birthday shoutout goes to the Express, Nolan Ryan, who turns 71. Nolan Ryan, I mean, to me, it just looks like he... Finished pitching yesterday. Actually pitched up until he was 46. Incredible. And he was throwing no hitters well into his 40s. While he struck out over 5,000 batters. And Mets just tra- gave him away for Jim Fregosi. <sighs> And we take a look back 30 years ago to Super Bowl XXII. The Denver Broncos outscored the Redskins 10-7 in three of four quarters. Unfortunately, that second quarter, they allowed 35 points. And record explosion. <coughs> you just got to see this to believe it if you've never seen it before. So check out the story at Barstool Sports and at the Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Super Bowl week is now starting to settle down, so keep up looking at Barstool Sports as their coverage in Minneapolis continues. And of course, good day. <laughs>